Why Vibes Carter is not a no? The wall is not completed as yet. Okay? Everybody asking. The wall not finished yet. So I'm going to stop reading the comments now because I want to stay focused. So when an artist like Busy Signal come forward and make certain speech, it deserves to be um, addressed because, he's, as, as I said, he's very influential and he has a huge platform and he's highly respected. And it deserves to be addressed. He knows how to treat an artist. And when I said an artist, I'm talking local artists. That's you know, surprising stuff. They, they don't appreciate us. and scatter. They don't appreciate us as local artists. You know what I mean? I've seen the I've seen the treatment that an international artist got. You know what I mean? Name one some face. Or even before some face. Before me born when I was a little toddler. Name one sun splash. That's an international artist outdo a local artist. Okay. Reggae Sumfest has not hosted an international act from 2017 to 2023. And anybody know who about Reggae Sumfest? From Beyonce to Akon, the biggest stars have been featured on Reggae Sumfest. Biggest international act. And for we to make that decision to not put another international act on up until this year, that says a lot. The resources that it takes to bring in an international act, we put that into producing a show with a proper aesthetics, stage, lighting, proper decor, and we invest in paying the Jamaican acts them better. That's where the resources went. And for many, many years, as you can see, no international acts has been featured on Reggae Sumfest. We geared all of that towards dancehall and reggae artists. We are not biased. We are booking an international act is concerned and comparing them with, with Jamaican acts. And even when we place, if we are supposed to place an international act on the stage, there's no comparison. Jamaica is the farming ground for, for music and performance. Jamaican artists, they are some of the best performers in music anywhere in the world. But when I make no comparison, it's because when we, if we're supposed to book an international act, it's because there's a demand for it. It's not because we are trying to show up Jamaica act or put them down. No, it's just based on business. There's a demand for it. Okay? But be specific. How did things fall apart? What happened specifically? I've been approached by Joe Bogdanovich many times, you know, in terms of doing something. I guess his staff and the people who claim they know stuff, it, it, it's just garbage. Big garbage. One specific time was, uh, the last time I did something was, uh, I don't remember the year, but I had a contract. I had a contract for an hour. Set. Well, let me rewind this. Very important. Listen keenly, please. Oh, I had a contract. I had a contract for an hour. But set. I had a contract. I had a contract for an hour. Set. And on the stage, I think I was there preaching us, you know, maybe I think it was 17 minutes in my performance. Some guy was on the side of the stage showing me a time, like, hey, like, every time I look to the side, I see someone hitting the time and saying, you know, they got to rush me off to put a different artist on or, or sometimes it's push back, so it's unprofessional. Okay, so I want to hear clearly. This is said one particular time. First of all, he said Joe reached out to him a lot to um to do the show. And I want him to know this. See, every time Joe reached out to you to do the show, Mr. Garden, every time Joe reached out to you to do the, the reggae someplace, is the team, I and I and a few others, remind him that, yo, I could try to busy. Every single time. It's not Joe's doing alone. This is a team. Because the team respect your craft. And all of us plug the thing and say, yo, try get busy. You say we are garbage. Because we are garbage. Fine. Listen keenly. The man said he had a contract. And he was slated to perform for an hour. No. I don't know which contract you got. You never have a contract that slated that you, you were supposed to perform for an hour. You did not have a contract slated to perform for I an hour. I have the contract here. And where it says time of performance or whatever, it did not say nothing about duration of performance. However, 
there's a running order that listed your duration of performance and it was explained to you on your management team. The only thing that was mentioned in your contract, and I have it here, it's a paragraph two at a certain part in the contract and I have highlighted it. I'm going to show it to you, the public. I don't want to show anything else out of respect for business. This is where time allotted to busy signal is mentioned in, in the contract. Time of performance. The artist agrees to do a performance as described in the agreement with the time specified by promoter. The actual time of the performance may be subject to change and these changes shall be communicated to the artist within seven days of the festival. Any failure by the artist to perform for the time agreed will result at the promoter's discretion in a reduction of the fee payable to the artist by the promoter. This is at the promoter's discretion. Nowhere in Busy Signal's contract was it slated that he was supposed to perform for an hour. Let me explain this aspect now. The reason why Busy Signal could not have been slated to perform for an hour is because no one on the show was slated to perform for an hour. No artist. We had Luciana, Taurus Riley, Supercat, Barrington Levy, Sanchez. So we have Busy Signal here, right? And nowhere on this lineup do we have Busy Signal slated to perform for an hour or any other artist. Right? Look at Busy Signal. This is where Busy Signal perform. This is 12 o'clock, 12.21. 12.21. Army time. This is 12.21 a.m. So 12.21 to 12.51. 30 minutes. Busy Signals was allotted 30 minutes to perform. See the times of the other artist, Sanchez, 45 minutes. Barrington Levy, 45 minutes. Supercat, 40 minutes. Tara Swirly, 45 minutes, because he's a singer mostly. Luciana, 45 minutes. No artist was allotted an hour to perform. So I want to write that down. The man said he was booked to perform for an hour. No artist was booked to perform for an hour, including with a signal. I hope that explained that part there. So, may I deal with it? So, when you have somebody as influential as Busy Signal come on the internet or do a program and make these kind of statements, who wouldn't believe him? This is a Busy Signal we tour the world. We make the biggest song. Why nobody not? Why some first wrong when you drop the ball, as people have said, but I'm showing the proof. No artist was booked to perform for an hour. Not even 50 minutes. Look at this now. Jamaica is the farming ground. And everybody want to see their favorite acts on show, especially a big show. So we have to toe the line to accommodate your favorite and accommodate the biggest and the best at the same time. So the, the time can't be as big as performing on an Uppsala Reggae Festival. When Busy Signal is on the stage and he says there was a stage manager at the side beckoning to him and telling him that hurry up and I'll show him the time. The reason why that is done is because when an artist is on a rehearsal and a rehearsal, 30 minute set, right? In rehearse this 30 minute set and everything fits nice. However, when they get on a stage and start to perform, dance hall and reggae artists have this thing where them say level and them talk and they make some speech and them address certain social issues or them talk to the audience to build a vibe. And every time that they go so I say level and talk, they will talk for 30 seconds, they will talk for a minute, or they will talk for two minutes. So an artist will race a set for 30 minutes, but go on the stage and go level and do an intro for each song and talk in between the songs. He will add, easily add 10 minutes to him set. So a 30-minute set will turn into a 40-minute set. And if every artist who's on the show does that, which they normally do, you know who suffers? The artists who come late in the show. So that's how the show starts to run late. So when an artist is on stage and he's doing a lot of talking and the stage man and his joint manager is beckoning to him, say, listen, you have 10 minutes, you have 5 minutes. I know it can trigger anxiety and you can be offended by it, but it is his duty to show you, say, don't talk too much or your time will run fast or something because if the management not do it, somebody have to do it. So 
Busy Signal, who have a 30 minute set, his set can easily turn into 40 minutes. Now, he left the stage at probably 35 minutes. And he did the, the like, for first two long of Jamaica Love. First two line of Jamaica Love. If you go on YouTube, you will see his entire set. He left the stage at about 35 minutes. Once again, I say that may be a too short. That set is too short for a busy signal. However, we can debate about that. But he was scheduled to perform for 30 minutes, not an hour. When a promoter book you overseas, he'll tell you how long he wanted to work. So if we say we wanted to do a 30 minute set and it is listed, you're supposed to adhere to it, no matter how you feel. No disrespect. See me? Because the reason why I may clear up these things, you know, because as I say, Busy Signal is a very in influential artist and the stuff that he says carries weight. And another thing is like, a lot of people want to know. They want to know why these things always happen. Why people always come out and make disparaging um, argument and so forth. So yeah, I mean, I'm used to professionalism worldwide. You know what I mean? I, I'm just coming from the summer job. <laughs> Up to go to the Rotterdam Splash and the Reggae Jam and the Uppsala Festival. These are bigger festival than something, way bigger festival than something. And um, the professionalism is surreal. Because if you're going to compare a summer jam to a Reggae Sum Fest, there's a few things that you're not supposed to leave out. Different to a summer jam and a Reggae Sum Fest, summer jam has two stages. So this is red stage, and this is green stage. And these venues are, very, are huge. There's no, there's no big venues in Jamaica to accommodate certain um, amount of patrons. So when he's comparing a summer jam to a, to a, um, a, a reggae sum fest, here's the difference. Two stage in one venue. So two shows going on at the same night, at the same time. So this is... This is Sontag. So this is German or whatever. I don't know what language this is. This is German, I think. And it is Sunday. And this is Samstag. This is Saturday. This is Sam Free Tag. And this is Friday. Right? So it's three days of festival. And there is two stage. On one stage, on a Friday night, you have one, two, three, four, five, six artists. And on the next stage... You have one, two, three, four, five, six artists. The show begins, and the, on the red stage, it begins at 4.30, 2.30, and ends at 10.25 on the red stage. And on the green stage, it begins at 2.55 and ends at 10.20. So this is basically about, what? sorry, it's about eight hours. So imagine one, two, three, four, five, six artists having eight hours to perform. That's how Summer Jam can give them an hour or more. You understand me? So this is a Friday night, you know, and you have on one stage, you have Busy Signal, you have Kali Buds, J Boog, Queen Omega, Jizzle, Omar Jatta. And on another stage, you have Cedo, Rain, Majan, no, 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 most of these people, but them qualify, the world be. Zane? So each of these artists now can be allotted over an hour to perform. If you check a Sumfest flyer on a Friday night, we have three times this amount of artists on a Friday night, on a dance hall night. Three times this amount of artists with the same eight to nine hour window. So there is no way we can allot an hour to each artist to perform. We have to give them between 25 and 30 minutes or even less. So this is a difference when someone say in Europe, them get a whole heap of time. In Europe, some artists have to sing Bob Marley's song and I sing Dennis Brown, them sing out them whole catalog, just fulfill the performance time allotted to them. And this is only a Friday night. This is 12 artists with two stage on a Friday night at a festival, Summer Jam 2024. This is a show that Busy went on the other day. Diane was booked on it as well. This is a Saturday night. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight artists on the red, red stage and eight artists on the green stage. Once again, I am telling you that there's two stages in this venue. There are huge venues. You understand me? 
You have Beanie Man content from me in Virgo, Lila, IK, Samurai, Diani, Martin Jundas, and um, Samora. Right? And over here as well, you see. You see the lineup. So this is the difference. It's reggae some fest at Catching All, that venue is not big enough to accommodate two stage. Think about it, people. However, we these are 2816, this is 16 artists. However, we still have 16 artists on one night. We still have 16 artists to manage and flow and present to you on one stage in one night. So the same thing for the Sunday night. Three, this is our three-day festival, you know, with two stage. However, the difference is when you compare the amount of artists that they, are, they host on a three-day festival, it is similar to the amount of artists that we host on a two-day festival with one stage. So, while busy, we'll have the luxury of performing for an hour or more in these festivals. Reggae Sumfest to provide the opportunity because we have a lot of artists booked. Now, maybe we should start cutting down the lineup. Maybe instead of booking 15, 16, or 18 artists on one night, maybe we should have considered like book one, one eight or one ten. You know? But don't forget, Jamaica also have a culture. As I said, this is a farming ground. And when you have a lot of upcoming artists who hot like fire, and then you have the, the stalwarts, them and the real giant, them, it's hard to not be able to accommodate some here and some there because Jamaicans do not work off or more. Jamaicans prefer. We are at this point in this, in this country where we choose more hype over substance. If we could have keep us sure with just substance alone and get a full turnout, would I do that every year? But unfortunately, the reggae music don't even play upon the radio again, to be honest. Reggae music don't even play as much as hardcore dance all, you know? So the thing, I go down a, a part where we have to keep a balance because at the end of the day, it's a business that we are trying to keep a balance and we are trying to give the youth them some exposure and we are trying to do so much. It's hard and then it looks like we're unreasonable. We're not trying to be unreasonably busy. We just are trying to push the culture far and wide. And when you make these comparisons and say these festivals are way bigger and more professional than a reggae sumfest. Reggae sumfest is trying to be professional every year. We are trying to get better and better and we acknowledge where we go wrong and we try to correct the wrongs and move forward. See? So don't curse you by trying to do the right thing. Just understand the inner workings of how the thing works for Jamaica because a lot of artists, they are very disciplined when they take a plane and then perform overseas. First of all, they can carry 100 or 20, 30, 30 persons backstage with them. You understand me? But in Jamaica, they come and it is free for all. No respect for, 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 for the brand. And until you... Let me show you something. You ever keep a birthday party for yourself? Right? You ever keep a birthday party for your, for your child yet? You ever keep a dance yet? Like put out some fly and keep a party or keep a dance. You know how hard it is to keep a dance? So imagine keeping a show for 20,000 people per night. It's a huge undertaking. Imagine keeping a show for 20,000 Jamaicans, but you have some, a lot of artists who feel so this a free them ground and them who are free them vibe and free them entourage and Everything else is out the window and it has to go my way. And you want to tell the promoter how oh, he's running out of go, you know, want to adhere to no rules, no restrictions, nothing at all. It's very hard. So we are trying to get this thing on a more structured way, but we are getting a lot of pushback at the same time. And we face a lot of obstacles because we are competing with articles, artists who are still able to keep shows for themselves. However, when you check the aesthetics on those shows, it don't compare to a reggae some fest because we don't just put up a show and put up some lights and, and we DJ bridging them come DJ for we. We have to book everybody and pay everybody. When an artist now can do a show for himself and invite the whole time co-workers them and them come DJ for him. And they don't care if a hundred man or twenty man stand up on the stage while everybody are DJ on the stage full of people. And the mic are passed back and forth or whatever. They don't hold these show to no accountability or no high regards. It's just a free for all thing. And that works in some instance. But when you come, when you're talking about getting better and being more professional, like an Uppsala reggae, surf, surf, uh, reggae festival and um, a reggae 
regular job or a summer job. These rules have to be enforced, and it's very hard to enforce them here in Jamaica, right? So my aim is not for coming here and try this try business signal credibility or talk down to him or be disrespectful. I respect the artist. Zane, the reason why I'm going to start this, this live and I play the song I'm going to play is because Busy Signal recorded that song for me on behalf of Down Sound in 2016, in November 2016. That was right after Sumfest, like a few months after Sumfest. I had no inclination that he had a gross with how he was treated or at the time frame. None of that. I never know none of that. Because as I said, the man recorded a song for me in a 20. 2016, right? So, I don't think him have a, a vendetta against the brand. But he is wrong when he said he was um, contracted to perform for an hour. Showing the contract, he was not contracted to perform an hour. He was allotted 30 minutes on the stage. 30 minutes, not an hour. And as I said, when, I, when these Jamaican artists, they are on stage and them, when they do a rehearsal for 30 minutes, they don't do 30 minutes on stage because they have this style where they don't go level and them talk and them do them intro and them say a whole heap of things to get the crowd riled up. So it goes on a 30 minutes set to turn into 45 minutes very easily. Another thing is when an international act rehearse a 30 minute set, you will get 30 minutes because they are act flow. They don't do that level something there and them have the audio that is totally run parallel with the visuals. So when you look on the screens, the songs being played, you have visuals that have to match the audio. So it cannot be stopped or paused or anything. They, them show have one flow. Dancing, everything is run on a time and on a strict basis. This is not a bad thing when I'm saying Jamaicans do a level something because like it's a part of our culture. But promote, promoters suffer who want to run on time. When every artist do that something, like the promoter suffers. Right? So, me listen to Busy Talk, you know, I'm interview. I'm going to have no gross with him. I said, I'm just going to try to clear up that something. Yeah. And to be honest, if we reach out to him for performing at 2025, I want him to look at it as us trying to achieve the same goal. Because this is, no matter how you, no, a lot of people don't like me for whatever reason, they don't like I and I. See? But when you when do your song with the regular Summer Fest team, it's not for me. I do it for the culture. So I have to remove how me feel and my personal feelings. It is always removed. Because we have one mission and we have the same mission. To put reggae music on the map and this culture and to sell it to the world. And as artists, you all owe it to the fans to ensure that we put aside these personal and these ego and understand that there are fans who really want to come out and see, see when you perform. Remove how you feel about somebody. I know, so we would have on one mission, bridging, on one mission. I mean, I understand how we're supposed to want, I said the same thing when it comes to the music, and we want to go far and we want him, whatever. But there are certain feelings that we have about a show name, Reggae Sumpress. We, we can't deal with it directly. We could find out what the issue Well, busy around. You were not slated to perform for an hour. You were not slated to perform um, for an hour. It is in, it's in the contract. This is the running order. We never disrespect you. We never do none of that. If I'm going to tell you say, right here, all the time, maybe that wrong. Maybe you, you, can, you can't be offended by that, you know, because if you look to this there and see I'm going to re remind you about time. If you want to feel offended by that, we understand. But that no means uh, the fans and the music for suffer. You understand me? It's very hard to deal with artists. You when you deal with stars, it's very hard because you have to find a way to not hurt them ego. And at the same time, create some kind of environment where we make it work on a certain level of principle. So it's hard for two of the lines to make it work. And a lot of people don't, they're not ready for that yet. However, when them set foot on an international platform, them man, them best behavior. Them best behavior. So, there's some of the items now, sir. Big up, give thanks. I'm not address nothing more when it comes to reggae some fest. I'm not address nothing more. You understand me? Um, people can say what they want to say, but the reason why I address on because busy a big star, I'm a big artist, and I deserve a, um, an explanation. We don't have nothing against the virgin, we don't have nothing against the man. And me. I care how you feel about me because you know, say, we know, say, bounty killer, a busy general. So 
if him have an issue with me and killer and whatever, whatever. I don't even want to feel so that is the issue because me personally, as I said before, if me have an issue with any artist that's being booked for some press, my ver my, my mouth not talk, I'm not say nothing. I am not in on those meetings. Because I can't bring bias into a big entity like a reggae some press. Me stay quiet because there's it's not me alone make up a reggae some press team, it's a ton of people that make decisions and make certain calls. You understand me? So I know it's easy for for things say just because some people in a, 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 a position of influence them can talk against somebody or whatever. But I don't mean, depend on them level of bridging. That is not me. I am not there. If me have an issue with somebody, when I come talk about it, I talk about it. But I'm not going to judge you based on your talent. If you're a talented artist and you deserve to be on reggae some places, you deserve to be on the show. I respect your talent. I will never go against talent. I will never go against a man's track record and what he has done for the culture and music. I care how I feel about him. And at some mistake, everybody a human, but I tell you, I'm going to bring my gross panda something here. So, Remove this thing from me where you say me this are in a light me because or whatever. I'm a respect busy. A 2016 November you record a song for me. I'm telling you, I'm going to go on like an idiot when I get the song because I love it. You see me? So I'm going to play them like a stupid, nasty, dirty mind something. I'm going to come so far for people that drag me down de, them something. Me, me is a man. I evolve. I'm a grow for better myself and better my heart and better my mind. So the reason why I come make them speech and talk about some person and them something because we are, we are with upon a mission bridging to infuse discipline, love and understanding and push the music forward because a whole heap of opportunity some first create for a lot of people, including the city of Montego Bay. Whole heap of jobs. You understand me? It creates a whole heap of jobs. So let's remove the negativity and the cloud because the positives outweigh the negatives by far. And we're only here to get better and better each year. So big up everybody. Big up my, big up my co-worker, them are down sound. Big up everybody. And just know say I want love straight from the regular Sumpress desk. And we're going to reach out to, we will continue reaching out to Busy Signal every single year and try to get him on the show. Because we're not carrying none of them, none of them here to there are no feelings, no resentment. Respect. Big up.